Emily and thank you so much for joining me today to learn about Story Circle. You might want to check out last week's video about why I'm doing these videos. And okay, so Story Circle has been discussed as a few different things. Either Story Circle or Heroic Journey or Plot Embryo. And in that case, you may have heard names like Dan Harmon. There is a lot of theories around this plotting structure, but I just want to point out that it's just a circle, and circles are not scary. Okay, so the reason I chose to go with Story Circle for the name of this series, rather than Plot Embryo or anything else, is that I am about stories. I'm not about plotting. Because I'm writing a novel and this is more what it's geared towards, but any kind of story can fit this mould. Stories generally shouldn't be structured around plot. Plot is more for something like film or plays. They fit a certain structure, they have a certain time frame, and audiences need to be entertain entertained quickly, and there are things that people generally like to see on screen. Whereas books, because of the, the length, long form, they're more about a story and getting to know the characters on a much deeper level, and it's much deeper level than can be given through any other format, because you can be learning things through the character telling you, showing you, so it's a much more emotive concept and story just works a, a lot better than plot. So today we're just focusing on the circle as in the parts in the middle of the circle. So as you'll note these are not perfect circles but that's the whole point of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. All you're doing is getting to know your characters and getting to know your story to help you become a better writer or just to finish your story. Give you the foundation, all the parts that are going to be in your story. And first of all, we have the center line, the horizontal line. A lot of teachers of this type of story structure will explain that this is life or death, order or chaos, familiar, unfamiliar. Okay, so I use the story circle in a much different way where I don't use each plot point as a plot. It's more about getting to know my character in their world. So for me, this horizontal line is about the setting. And this line here represents a change in that setting. So it can either mean when the character moves from, so just for context, the story circle starts here, and we'll learn more about that when we get into the quadrants. But if they're starting here and they move around, by the time they get here, they may physically go into a new world, a new setting, and they'll go around in their journey until they get to here and they come back into their familiar setting or their home. So it could either be that, or it could mean something like the setting hasn't changed, but something here has changed, so therefore their perception of the world is going to change in here. For example, they might have a new friend group, so once they get to here, all the parties they go to might be different to what was happening up here. Or something may have happened here like he broke up with his girlfriend, so up here he was spending most of his time at her house. If they've broken up here, he then has to figure out what where he's going to be spending his time here. So I use this as a base for what is going on at each section of the circle and where it's taking place and how the events at each point is affecting that setting. Okie dokie, so now we have the vertical line. So again for context, remember that the character starts up here in the circle. Okay. So this line represents the, how the character changes. So they start up here in their familiar settings, who, how they begin the story and what their personality is like at the beginning. So they go through and they have all these events at all these different points. And when they get to here, which is basically the middle of the story, something here makes them change as a person. So then all of this section they will be different. So it could be naive and experienced. Could be a bench player on the basketball team and now they're captain because they've worked really hard. It could be just a really scared person in general. Something that's happened in their childhood that made them scared of something in particular. They've learnt something through here, gotten to a goal, and by the time they get 
over here they're not scared anymore because of what has happened to get them to here. So remember at this point their world has kind of changed but as a person they're still the same as here when they get to here but they use this space here to learn about who they are and in this new setting or new environment or you know, new friend group whatever it is something new and it changes them here so then they become this new person in this new environment and usually there'll be some kind of downfall with that um, they get to travel all this way and there's usually something either goes wrong or there's a repercussion but we'll get into that when we get to this quarter and then they end up back sort of in the space they were in the beginning either like you know back to the same world they started in or the same kind of things they were dealing with as in this quarter however they have changed because they've gotten to this line okay just for context one two three four five six seven and eight so as we progress through videos we're going to start at this quarter that'll be next video next video will be the second quarter then the third quarter and then the fourth quarter and then there'll be three more videos on how to actually build this into a story. I want to also note that each circle is only one character. This is not your entire story and I think that confuses a lot of people when plot is discussed. Um, they try and fit their whole story into this circle and it just doesn't work and of course it doesn't work because each character is unique and each character has different wants and needs and this story is basically about that character, their motivations and the conflict that comes up throughout the story and the resolutions that come forth because of that conflict affecting the motivations. So we will learn how this story affects individual characters and then putting all those character stories into one story, therefore an outline and how you can use that outline to build on your story. This method is actually super easy and if you're in a plotter or pantser camp you can use this because it can be as detailed or as minimal as you would like. So once we get through all the quarters and then I show you how to outline using this you'll see that basically anyone can use this. It's pretty user friendly and it's not over complicated like a lot of tutorials on this subject usually are. So I hope that you're super pumped yeah. and we'll get into the first quarter in the next video. Thanks, bye!